Um, somebody reached out to me today, and um, this actually wasn't today, it was within the week, and they wanted me to review their store for them. So they've got a store in the kitchen niche. Um, so I'm going to do something a little bit different this time around. Um, you know, in the past videos, I've actually just shared with you some uh, winning products um, and really like uh, some products definitely like that have done well. Um, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually do some live product research, right? Um, so just going to jump in, into the kitchen niche just to give you a bit of a, a taste on how we how we actually go about doing the actual research in and of itself, right? So a little bit of a different flavor today. Uh, I'm sure you'll find it beneficial as always. So please do like and make a nice comment below um, would be really awesome. But this is his store, kitchenproducts.store, all right? Um, so pretty decent looking website. Um, you know, I've seen much worse. He's used a fairly decent, nice looking template. Um, and this individual has has made sales on this. He's got about 24 sales. Um, and he goes to me, look, the biggest help I need is conversion rate, right? So I'm going to talk a little about conversion rate and how we can improve that. Um, the second thing is that um, uh, this guy's lost over a thousand dollars, you know, in marketing, right? Which is fine. Like it happens and everyone should initially lose, be willing to lose some money because for me, anybody, you know, when I've lost my first thousand dollars in, you know, learning how to do this, um, I never really saw it as a loss. I saw it as an education on what to do and what not to do, right? Like you're going to need to invest in and, you know, sometimes uh, see it as an investment that now this individual, he's spent, you know, some money where he's learned how to make 24 sales, right? Yes, it's cost him 20, you know, a thousand dollars or whatever in minus at the moment. But I know so many people that have started off initially where they lost quite a bit of money and their, their first few thousand turned into hundreds of thousands in profit, right? So if you're in that boat, don't let it dishearten you. It's a part of the process and it's completely normal, right? But the main thing is you want to get in, you want somebody to be over your shoulder, ideally a mentor, somebody to work with you and actually launch your products with you. And that is going to help you ensure that the, the money that you're spending is done in the best way and really reduce and mitigate your risk. All right, so when I'm looking at this, I've got this uh, on Chrome. You can download this thing called Pexagol. Pretty awesome app. <clears throat> so I'm going to use it to analyze. If I if I click this button here, um, I believe it's this one. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to analyze his store a little bit just to see what I think, uh, where the cells were coming from, right? Where, what am I doing? What is it? It's this one, sorry. Right, where the cells are coming from, right? So as you can see, these are the last products this, this uh, brother's been releasing and it was two months ago then five months ago right so uh, what it looks like five around five months ago he had a big burst of energy saying i'm gonna go and take some action let me go and launch some products um and he launched a lot of products five months ago um and then you've got some seven months ago and and then eight months a year and then he's like taking a big massive break for the five months and one product he just chucked out there two months ago right so you, one of the biggest things of advice i would say is look you need to be consistent if you want to be successful at this you need to be launching products on a weekly basis okay um, and the reason why is because majority of your products are going to fail um, and what you're going to do is you're going to learn like you want to uh, use a even if you're like financially struggling for example you can use a low budget strategy of just putting 30 30 dollars behind one product um and then you know directing it only to the usa okay and just seeing does it make a sale within 30 dollars do five of those a week okay you're not breaking your bank you're not you know whatever you know but it, it keeps the ball rolling and then <clears throat> what seems to happen is that you then start seeing where the trends are, what type of products are making sales, what type of products are not making sales. So even if you find something that starts making sales but it's not profitable, then you can launch a bunch of other products that are similar to that product, right? So if you go to trending here, uh, it should show the products that are, you know, that he sold the most of, right? So I can see it's probably these these products here, right? So, you know, um, yeah, so it's probably around these products. So let's have a look at this one. And let's have a look at this one here, right? Uh, so this is done by the highest traffic. So it looks like these two products got the highest traffic uh, from the store in my understanding, right? For according to this app. 
Um, not it's not always 100% accurate, but let's just roll with it, right? Just to to provide the feedback. Okay. So I'm going to start with this one. This one's just an easier one to to just quickly get out the way. Um, so the first problem with this product is the price range, right? So what you want to focus on is you want to focus on high-end products that give you at least a $30 margin, okay? And obviously this is a $20 product, so I'm pretty certain that this is not giving a $30 margin. And the reason why you want to do that is because of the fact that um, if a product, you know, if you know, you're gonna have to pay for the product for one, and then the second thing is you're gonna have to pay Facebook for a customer, and you know, on Facebook to buy a customer, it can cost anywhere between fifteen to twenty dollars, right? So you know, if your product is that, you know, price. For you to, you might be a little bit profitable initially, but when you're scaling it and the cost to buy a customer goes up, it's going to just eat out of your margin and it's going to be very difficult, right? So that's why I wouldn't really bother with that product, okay? This one is a little bit better, it's $60. Um, so I think this is about $30 on AliExpress. Um, so what you can do is you can go to Chrome uh, and download AliExpress search by image. Um, so then what you do is when you download that onto your Chrome browser, oh, this is the, a different website, you right click it, search Google uh, goods on AliExpress. So then that then that does a whole search for me. And then it says it comes up with all the suppliers that are basically uh, selling this product, right? Um, so you can see here it's around 30, $35, right? Which is cool. The highest one's got about 1,400 sales, 500 sales. So it's not too saturated, right? It's it's pretty decent. I'm sure it's been done like quite a while because there's a lot of supplies for it. But still, it's not overly saturated. Like if it was, you know, a 1,000, a 1,000, a 1,000, a 1,000, then I'll just stay away. But I would say this is potential. Ideally, the lower, the better. Um, but it's got some potential there, right? Um, so, uh, you know, from a perspective, $30, $35, you're selling it at 60. I normally do six to $7 shipping cost. I never do free shipping. So, you know, I've got my $30 margin, right? The product's a nice one in regards to how to sell it on Facebook. You will need a Facebook video to showcase this. Um, what I do with my clients and, and, and the people that I work with me and my team, we focus on products that are not as complicated, more simple products that you don't need a video because we focus on just launching as quick as possible. Um, so we focus on like products that are just image only and you don't need to worry about sitting there making a video for it, right? It, you know, there's, it actually works really well with video, just as good as on, uh, sorry, it works really well on images as well as video. So you don't really need to worry about video. It just takes a lot of time, right? Especially when you're starting up, you want to get a lift off, right? So, okay, so the first thing is, look, um, the the product price wise is okay. The product seems to be a good one, like it's a unique product, like vegetable slicing products. I I've had a a, a vegetable slicer myself that I sold. I sold about two million dollars in sales of that one product. I sold over a hundred thousand units of it, right? So vegetable slices sell. I'm come. I'm talking from experience here, right? Um, and this one here, um, so this product is, is you know it seems like a good one um you need a video like i said um it's not that saturated so it's something that is worth get a go and to be honest especially with the pandemic we're in at the moment um a lot of people a lot more people are buying kitchen things because they are you know they're in a position where they're like i'm at home i'm not going to a restaurant i want to make a nice meal so a lot more people are cooking than ever before so kitchen products are doing really really well right now yeah and at the moment like you know yeah so yeah yeah they're just generally doing well like generally i don't focus on a, a niche store like kitchen i would always go for an, a general store so i can sell different types of products um you know but you know you get the point okay so in regards to conversion so the one thing about conversion you want to understand is conversion and this is the main question of this brother is how can i increase my conversion right conversion is all about the ease of process from getting the customer to say oh i want this product to click a few buttons to make the order right the more content and 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 things you have on your website will will reduce the will actually reduce the um the conversion right so what i mean by is if you look at this whole copy a lot of information here right there's a lot of different information and i understand it because of the fact that you know it's a slightly more complicated product so you want to showcase all the elements right but the issue is is that you've got the images here 
and then you're going to have more images here and little videos here and 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 people are just going to struggle to go through all of that and it slows them down there's more things that their brain will go through you know you've got this long guarantee um so it's a lot of content to consume that are just going to switch people off like what i would do is my my copy is like really small a few sentences and a few bullet points right so that's point number one yeah I would have like a few sentences and a bullet points and let, you know, the images do the talking basically, right? Um, you know, uh, the and, and especially if they watched the video from YouTube, uh, sorry, from Facebook, they would have had it, right? The second thing, there's a lot of added extra elements. Uh, one thing is all this content slows down the site and the slower your site is, the you know the the conversion rate has an impact. So even adding these, I wouldn't even add these, right? Even these reviews, I don't have any reviews on my site, okay? I used to be a big advocate of reviews because I'm like, this so shows social proof, blah, blah, blah. But do you know what? If you didn't have it, it actually doesn't make a difference, right? Um, in fact, it improves things, right? You've got extra content here that they're going to go through. Like, you, it's just so much content, yeah? You know, they have to read this. I'll take this off. Then they have to go through this. Then they have to go through all of this. It's just you want to make it very simple right you've got a, a chat here again maybe they're like oh let me send a chat no that's going to distract them you know uh you know there's a flag here why is this flag it this all slows it down and it's just too much content on a page right um the reason why i i i set this one up as well i opened this i just did a search on competition like people add timers irrelevant buttons irrelevant reviews and it just it slows it down and it takes away the 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 quickness of that that person just coming on the site and saying that looks cool let me get it right you know you should have the minimalist information on there for them to understand what the product does make it very simple and clear and then just have the the direction to buy it second thing is this website is it's a bit unprofessional like the title is huge right you've got like capitals the the name of this is like one two three four five six name like words i'll just call it then the nin the ninja slicer right something like nice and cool ninja slicer or you know ninja food slicer or something right you don't it's just this is too big right and then you've got like pink and then you've got green right like it just it just doesn't look nice it looks unprofessional so a lot of people will come here and just not buy because of the fact that it just looks unprofessional as well right um so that is a, a kind of advice on on the conversion factor um, and why I think you know the con maybe it's not converting as much as you'd want it to and how to kind of when you are doing future products how to improve the the process by reducing the information less is more remember that less is more simple title simple one two three lines of copy of what it does um, you know like look, this makes your kitchen gadget to a whole new level right this doesn't even make sense this makes your kitchen gadgets to a whole new level that doesn't make any sense like it's really bad copy right really bad copy right um because it's just number one there's no full stop this makes your kitchen gadgets to a whole new level doesn't actually make sense how can you make your uh, i think what it's meant to say is this takes your kitchen gadgets right but you want to just say what what does the product do you just take one sentence this product cuts your vegetables in you know x way or you know you know improve your health by eating vegetables using our slice something like that right uh, and make it really like simple and sweet like you know the, the copy is done so if they came on here if i came on here you know it looks colors are irrelevant the copy is bad i like i wouldn't buy from this product this website right um the the site the listings do need to be done in a much more professional way right um so if you do want to if you do want help with your your listings and your product listings just write um a comment in the comment section just say uh interested or something and i'll reach out to you and i'll let you know what we can do to help you out right um so uh, from that perspective yeah so that is uh my advice on that here's another bad example of the same product again really bad example here as well all right so let's go ahead and jump into some product research okay so this person uh, this brother has launched a man mandolin slicer okay so when when we search that that is the main keyword and you can see it comes up here right but then you see one there you see the same one there you see the same one there 
Um, so when you see like loads of them, here's another one, here's another one. You can see loads of them. Uh, so they, f they end up being very, like you can tell there's more saturation with this product than you'd ideally like, right? Like you want a product that, and the, the issue is like, you know, anybody that kind of goes into kitchen will see this product, right? So this has probably been tested by like, I don't know, hundreds if not thousands of people. So, you know, you're just essentially, you've got a lot of competition and this is a, a high competition type of product. So the question is like, how do you find products that are similar to that? Um, that they're similar, but doesn't have as much competition, right? Um, so there's there's kind of two ways of going about it that I like normally doing. So what happens is I like right click here uh, onto the the listing, for example. Um, there's there's a few things that I would do here. So what you could do is you could scroll down, and uh, a section here that says uh, more to love. Okay. So for example, you've got this product here that I didn't see on that page. So this is a potential product that says, okay, it's a slicer. It could, it could do something, right? So that's one. You might find some, you might not, right? Or you might just come up with other products to have a look at and, and have an analysis of, right? Um, yeah. So, you know, so that's one space to, to have a look. Second thing is what you want to do is you want to kind of go in the rabbit hole. So look at, all right, what is their, their top selling products? You know, let's have a look at, this is the company that sold the most, as you can see. But are they selling anything else that might be interesting? Okay, what about this, right? Here's another product. Could that be a potential product, okay? Um, and, and just, you know, go through this product. So, you know, uh, I know I can tell this is this you know this has quite a lot of general order winning products that's a winning product winning products um this has been a winning product as you can see they're talking about kitchen and then suddenly you've got a massage pillow thing right uh again another older winning product um this is interesting i've not okay so this is fine you've got a home decor product um this one's an older winning product as well i've i've sold a bunch of these i'll just show you that as well um so this this is a a, a site where you get a page on top selling where you look at, okay, what else are they doing that could be interesting products to have a look at, right? Then you can go to, okay, well, if they're looking at products, what are some of their new arrivals, yeah? Maybe they've, you know, let's have a look at what else they're doing. Okay, what is this cat time thing supposed to be? It's a little bit eye-catching. What is this alphabet combination thing? Um, uh, this cat looks cool like a home decor product. Okay, there's definitely some winning products here. Um, so this is a, yeah, look, you know, they, this company basically is just dishing out winning products right now, right? To have a look at. So let's analyze some. So we've just kind of gone through the rabbit hole. Um, let's look at this, a bot control device. Okay. So let's have a look at some new products that we just found, right? So there's this one, um, it looks quite nice, it's a vegetable slice, again, the, you know, you have to do a video for it, this video is rubbish, I'll find one on YouTube, or, or something that's better quality, um, but fairly decent, uh, could I sell it for China, you know, you got, let's just see, uh, one, what's the difference, uh, okay, different blade, I'll just choose one of them, so you're looking at around $15, could I sell this for 39 about $40 plus shipping? Possibly, I think it is a little bit of a stretch, uh, but you may be able to do that. You may be able to get away with that. It might be worth testing, right? So I would do a reverse search on this, on the image, and see is it saturated or not, right? I'm not going to do it now. I'm just showing you some products. Uh, here's another one. Again, I think it's, uh, you know, the image looks nicer. It's a bit too big of a product because it's like, if you want this, then you'll have to buy the three pack one, and that's thirty six. So you'll have to sell it for around sixty dollars. You could do, but it's not really wow enough for me. I don't think it's tension grabbing enough. The images, it's just white on white, so it doesn't really uh, pop out at you. All the images on white, 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 so the product doesn't really pop out. Um, so let's leave that. This one looks interesting. I've, you know, uh, again, it's a, a bit of a tricky, not a tricky, but a 
Uh, a competitive, competitive niche. Uh, don't like the Chinese writing at the top there. Th this video is terrible. Uh, you will need a video for this product to kind of show it. Um, so let's I find something on YouTube. You know, um, this looks nice. People into home decor. Really, t really good quality product. You could give that a try. Um, they're quite small though, so uh, you know. Let's see the the sizing. You might be able to get away with it. Thirty. Okay, this one's a bigger one, so you could sell this for around sixty. This one may be a worth worth giving a try. Right, this one looks pretty cool. People are into home decor type of products. Um, okay, this one I sold a bunch of. Uh, I sold a lot of these these incense burners. I did these image these videos on Ali Alibaba were terrible, but you can see the image quality is really nice on this, right? Um, I just went on YouTube, found a video, and edited it, and just showing the product in use. Uh, but I sold sold a bunch of these. Um, what is this? The, okay, so it, here's another point: is that you you know, if I were to put this as an ad, it kind of grabs your attention, but I don't understand what it is. So although it kind of looks nice, okay, now that makes a bit more sense. Um, yeah, you you want to make sure that you use an image that makes that straight away you know what the product is, right? In this case, I didn't. Uh, not a fan of it. I don't think people will buy this for sixty dollars. So okay, so this is interesting. Uh, some sort of alphabet thing. The reason why I'm kind of interested in this is educational products are pretty good, especially for there for kids. Um, you know because. Uh, you know, kids are not at school, so they need to, you know, they need to study. But again, it doesn't really explain what it is. Okay, it's like a, yeah, it just, you know, you you let you. It's hard to explain this this product in this image. So I would pass on that. Again, another home decor product. This one looks pretty nice. It's cute. It's high quality. You can sell it as a bundle. Um, it looks pr it looks premium. So you could and you know, people like cats. They're kind of cute. You can maybe give that a test. Same thing with these reindeers. Sell them as a set. You know, it uh, looks quite cool. If they, if that's both of them for eighteen dollars, then that's definitely cheap. Then that would be a very good price. I don't know if it's both of them, but this would actually, you know, I can see this one selling. It grabs attention. It looks really professional. Uh, you could sell these. Is that both? Um, and sometimes what I do is, I don't know if I can here, no, there's no feedback, yeah, that's fine. Um, anyway, so that's another one in the home deco, and home deco is doing really well because people are at home and they are just wanting to uh, make their house look nicer, you know, they're stuck at home, they've got something to do. Okay, so this is a tea set, it looks nice, looks professional, but for one unit for $20, I don't think I could sell it for fifty dollars unless it was all four for twenty, which I don't think it is. Um, so that is too expensive. Uh, you got a dog barker. Again, does it have a video to showcase what this does? And kind of technical products, you kind of need a a bit of a video behind. This one's just not loading, so I can't say much about that. But I would say, you know, some of those home decor products were pretty nice then. Um, going back to the slicer, like, what other word can you can you put in that no one else is putting in? So you've got, like, 2021. Is there a new release out there somewhere, right? Is there something new that is, like, no one's really found out? Or let's go to orders. You know, I would look at, is there anything new? Mandolin slicer. Um, what, is, what is this? Ben, uh, so you know, I would put in different kind of uh, keywords, maybe handheld. You know, so you got a kind of different type of things that you can have a look at. Other products might come about. Um, so I would personally, I would, I would just go and try to dig in and find something that no one's seen before or, or found. Um, and see if I can come up with, you know, doing doing something different, right? 
whereas everyone else is just pulling up the same the same kind of content. So that's how I've just given you a little bit of a taste of product research, just diving into a niche and just going down a rabbit hole and starting to just uncover some products like that, right? So I hope you found that beneficial. The main thing is, um, you know, number one, the product should should have a wow factor, really grab attention. Should be second thing, it should be high perceived value, nice, really nice premium looking images and pictures. And the third thing is, um, uh, it should have a thirty dollar margin, right? Let me just show you another kitchen product. Um, okay, these products here. This is it. This one. Yeah, these these products, these black spoon sets. I know people that have done like multiple seven figures with this one product, right? Uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. Like I think yeah, multiple seven figures within a year, like close to a million a month. Put it that way. Um, just on these, you know, at that time they were quite new, and they were quite unique. Um, what am I? What is this? Yeah, so they were quite unique, right? At that time, you probably struggle now, but um, you know, just sh the, here is this one here. This is the one that they did, right? So they sold pretty much a million, a m close to mi uh, a million a month on just this one product. It's ridiculous, right? And that's it. Like one product can change your life. You just got to find one product, um, and uh, you know, you can achieve some amazing results. Like this again a million a month on this right it's ridiculous uh, but yeah you just go out there the main thing is just testing like go in there does it meet your criteria if it does then put it in the testing process um, and from there you know once you start finding those winners then you can scale them globally and be in a position where you're making hundreds of sales a day on that product and making ridiculous amount of, of money coming in right um, one more thing so look if you're in a position where uh, you know, you want to launch your next 10 products with me and my team and you want that one-to-one -one support where we actually go through your products, review them for you and, and basically shortlist 10 products to launch with you to start off with, get the ball rolling and, and teach you properly how to do this. Just comment below interested, I'll reach out to you um, and then f I'll provide you some more details because we are working with people with our clients one-to-one -one with setting up their stores, launching their, their products with them um, and just really giving them that solid foundation on how to be successful with this business.